Stefan. Oh, good afternoon, Al. <laughs> Not really. I um, have a new problem to discuss with you. Come in. Hello, Monica. Pierce. Thank you very much for coming. I wasn't sure you would. Are we alone? Yes. Do you think that's wise? Well, I think what we have to say to each other is best said in private. Well, if you were interested in negotiating, your couch doesn't look that comfortable to me. I was hoping that we could reach a reasonable understanding. Well, I'm sure you'll understand if I leave the door open. What is it this time, Alan? I'm sure you know that my wife and I have been separated for quite a while. Yes. Well, it seems that she was involved with one of the members of the staff. Oh, please. That's entirely between you and her. Unfortunately, it's not. It's going to implicate the hospital. You're not going to name the staffer in a divorce proceeding, are you? No, but the staffer is suing her for sexual harassment. Oh. Well, that's much better. I've made Dorman a private offer to settle. <laughs> I can just imagine the offer. A duel at 20 paces, perhaps? Settlement using my own money that would avoid implicating the hospital. Oh, that's a way out. Good thinking. Yeah, unfortunately, he has other ideas. He's only going to drop the lawsuit if he's reinstated to the hospital with a promotion and Monica's punished. I have no problem reinstating him if he's a good doctor. But quietly, I don't want any more bad PR. Don't worry. I have a daughter to consider. As for punishing your wife, what was her complicity in all this? Piers, I asked you to come here so we could work this thing through as friends. I don't consider you my friend anymore, Monica. OK, then. Former friends. We liked each other. We respected each other. We comforted each other. But now we have our careers to think of. People are going to be talking about this. People already are. Everybody thinks that I'm a lousy doctor, and that's why you won't let me come back here. I have to set the record straight. I am not arguing with you, Pierce. There just has to be a better way. Look, when I broke it off with you, I didn't realize how angry it hurt you'd get. I didn't realize the length that you would take this. And maybe I was clumsy in the way I did break it off, but... Well, I apologize for that. That's it? I'm asking you to drop the lawsuit. I have my family to consider. Oh, come on, don't make me laugh. The Quartermains are used to scandal. You're gonna have to do better than that. Okay, how about this? Emily lost her mother last year. I don't want to see her suffer the humiliation of a public trial. Bottom line being? Reconsider and accept Alan's offer. Where would I work? Mercy. It's a fine institution. Forget it. I'm not in this for the money or your very insincere apology. People think that I'm not good enough to work at GH. And if I have to take you to court to prove them wrong, I will do that. Save yourself the embarrassment, Pierce. Don't forget, I was the one that broke it off with you, whether you want to admit that or not. And if I am called to testify, then I'll just have to be honest. Go ahead. Be my guest. Because who's going to believe an old bat like you? Let's go to court, Monica. You can tell the whole world that my lawsuit is inspired by anger, that I'm a jilted lover, that I'm seeking revenge because I can no longer have you. Go on. Give everybody a nice, fat belly laugh. And then I'm going to get on the stand, and I am going to tell the truth, that you have been using the power of your position to keep me from practicing medicine at GH, where I belong. And why? Because you're trying to protect the wounded pride of your weak-willed husband, for starters. That's not true. Oh, really? Alan couldn't satisfy you, so you had to turn to me. Which brings us to the real reason you don't want me back here. I know you intimately. You think you're damaged goods. And let's face it, you are. You are so cruel. Monica, once upon a time, I took pity on you. I couldn't tell you that your fears were well-founded, but after what you've done to me, well, I think we should be honest with each other. All cats look black in the dark, 
but some of them just don't feel right. And when it comes to all the older women that I've had, you don't even rate. You are a sick man. I'll see you in court. I see Monica doesn't deny the affair in this deposition. She's willing to assume full responsibility for her actions. The one she's committed, that is. What do you see as our options? We could tell Dorman to back off, or we can give in to his demands. Could you live with him back on staff? I'd probably kill him eventually, but it'll buy us some time. Good, because I don't see how we can allow this lawsuit to go any further. The hospital's in a precarious position to begin with. If we give the man back his job, it'll take the air out of his case. Monica's going to hate it. I'm afraid it's our only course of action. There's not going to be any scarlet letter. I don't care what Dorman says. Monica's suffered enough already. Surely. However, next time, perhaps she'll exercise a little more prudence. There won't be any next time. All right. Thank you. Hello, cousin. Hello. I might have another case for you. Mm, that's terrific. What is it? Defending the hospital in a sexual harassment suit. My goodness. You don't waste much time, do you? Not me, thank you. <laughs> a female doctor on staff has been more than indiscreet. I am so glad that I chose law for medicine. At the way this hospital is imploding, I should be busy for years. You may have to stay in Port Charles for quite some time. This is Alan Quartermain. I'm looking for Monica. Have you seen her? She just went into surgery, doctor. Any message? No, thank you. I'll catch up with her later. Oh, no. Quartermain. What are you doing here? I'm your consult on this procedure. Like hell you are. I'm not working with you. Well, I think it's a little late to line up another neurosurgeon. How did you pull this off, Pierce? You don't belong here. You're not on staff. Oh, the wife is always the last to know. Didn't Alan tell you that he rehired me? I guess he doesn't mind having something in common with me. Better get scrubbed, doctor. The surgery went well. He responded to the medication, and we've got his heart back in a normal sinus rhythm. We removed the embolus. That's the blood clot. Yes, just in time. It was external, hadn't traveled into the brain tissue. So we reestablished circulation to the area. Can we see him? No, no visitors in uh, recovery. Look, I suggest that you all go home and get some rest, and by the time you come back, he'll probably be in his room. Well, I guess a little rest isn't a bad idea. I don't want to frighten the poor bloke out of his wits when he opens his eyes. <laughs> Why don't you two come along and take a little time for yourselves? Oh, sounds good to me. You didn't waste any time, did you? I never do. You know, it sure is good to get back in the saddle. Good evening, doctors. Monica, I am so sorry. I looked for you everywhere. I never dreamed he'd wind up on your team. How could you? Monica, you know what I was facing. I was trying to protect you and the hospital, and I'm facing Dorman. I mean, I had a choice of two impossible alternatives. If I let him sue you for sexual harassment, they were going to throw you to the media, Monica, and the hospital was going to incur these huge legal costs. After he turned down the settlement, I had to do something. So I thought, if he comes back here, if we give him back his job, there would be a possibility that maybe he would drop the lawsuit. Monica, 